Eight sandwich cookies have arrived to challenge the legend of Oreo. But do any of them stand a fighting chance against the king of cream cookies? Find out tonight. Get your milk cups up and hold on to your nethers, cause the scorio is about to begin. Welcome to the vodcast. Hey guys, and welcome to a very well-planned-out episode of the Vodcast. Uh, this is super exciting. I've been waiting to do this for so long. We talked about this years ago, and it just finally came to fruition. But I've got another idea, too. Are you from somewhere other than the Mid-Atlantic? Are you from the Northeast? Are you from the Pacific Coast? If you would be interested in me telling you what I think the best local Oreo is, get in touch with me. I'd love to have you send me whatever comes from your area, and I'd love to do this again for all the different regions, maybe even around the world. Who knows? I hope you know. So here's the deal. I only bought big box store and local grocery stores. I didn't go out of my way to farm to go to pharmacies or to go to gas stations or convenience stores, or anything like that. I stuck with the main bigger stores. A lot of little ones don't even have them. I would have thought CVS had them, but it's just down the street from me, but they don't make their own Oreos. So Walgreens Pharmacy do make their own. However, it wasn't available anywhere within 25 miles of me. And honestly, it was, it seemed like it was a different cookie. As I'm referring to my notes here, there's a few things I do want to mention as we go into this. Uh, Newman's Own is organic flour and organic sugar. And the red packaging really kind of threw me off. Like Target's packaging with red, that made a little bit more sense to me. Like try to incorporate a little bit of red because it's the red store. The Clover Valley are likely the worst. They were almost eliminated because they have these little holes in the surface of the cookie. Whereas Oreo and most of these do not. Actually, the Bentons do as well. So... We might see as we're opening these, uh, that trend continuing on some of the ones that I can't see into the package or the package doesn't indicate what the cookie looks like on the front of the package or well enough for me to tell. So here's my prediction for best and worst. In between, I really can't figure it out. I try to go up and down the list and in a lot of these I've never had so I couldn't tell you to begin with, but that's what this video is for. Uh, my prediction is that the Clover Valley is going to be the worst. They weren't the cheapest. Um, I'll show you as we're going through how that math works into this equation. There's just something telling me these aren't the ones. These aren't going to beat Oreos. Uh, the Twist and Shouts, I, I, they're real cocoa, so I've got a high hope for them, and I think they're going to be the surprise victor in all this. Now, the most expensive was the Newman Zone. Kaleidos, everything they've made, I've been very impressed with. But we have another contender at the table. That's right. We have a guest competitor today, and unfortunately, it's not the cookie I wanted it to be. If I waited and got the cookie I wanted it to be, it could take a while because they don't make them anymore. Oh, damn it. And the secret contender to the Oreo off is Happy Belly. I had no idea that Amazon did their own Oreos, and when I found out that they did, I knew I had to get them because I knew I could get them by today. I just didn't know if I was going to get them like now, early in the day, or like at 8 o'clock at night and not be able to film this today. So where do we begin? Let's start with Newman's Own. This is the most expensive. No, let's start. Let's start. We got to. Okay, hang on. Okay, that feels a little bit better now. Uh, we're going to start with the Newman's Own. Let's see if any of these other ones have the, the, uh, the peel to the package. I don't see anything. Well, that smells very similar to an Oreo, I will tell you that. Let's take a look at it. Uh, it's got Newman in the middle. Okay, there's your Newmans. Let's do a little twist test here. Comes apart nicely, falls apart. Okay, so I noticed that some of the Oreo cream in some of their cookies falls apart, and some of it you can peel right off. Let's give this a whirl. All right. Mmm. Wow. So right out the gate, let me see. This would be the number one position. We're going to put this in the number one position and we'll work from here. Yeah, as a dry cookie, that's very close to an Oreo and I would say almost better than an Oreo. There's really no convenient place to do the dunking today, so I'm going to leave it right there. Hmm, wow. 
I was a little concerned because the dunking took a little bit longer and it made it a little extra soggy, but much like the Kaleidos from the other day, it works. Scoring them off the top of my head, they're nine. They're really good as far as Oreos. We're not scoring them on like a in and of themselves. We're scoring them on an Oreo level. Let's move on to the Kaleidos. Oh, look at what they have done. They've added a flip thing. I mean, a, a peel thing. Oh my god! <laughs> I can't... Eh. Smells cookie-ish. Now, that's interesting. Okay, so yeah, it's a little sticky all around the edges, which is cool, because that'll keep them nice and... and uh, oh. It will keep them uh, from going stale. Okay, first and foremost, way less cream than the Newman's. I don't know if you can tell that, but it's, it, it's honestly significantly different. This is a lot less cream. Um, and it does have the holes in it. Dip them and love them. Let's give it a quick twist test. Oh, that is no good. Let's give it a whirl. I've really got to cut my mustache. Okay, they're good. They're all right. Um, I thought they were going to be better than this because I like all the other Kaleidos a lot. Or most of the other Kaleidos a lot. These totally were better than these. That's a cat here. Let's try them in milk. I wonder what the milk's gonna look like when we're all done. So is this a natural phenomenon or is this something otherworldly? All the cookie crumbles ended up congealing, like coming together. I think it's an alien species. I think Oreos were sent here to destroy us or save us. I, I don't know, one way or the other. Yeah, milk did nothing to improve the quality of that cookie. They're definitely in the second position as of now. I don't know, maybe a six. I'd say they're like a six. And now we're moving on to my least favorite to try. I would even go as far to say that it looks like there's less cream in these. My least likely to succeed cookie. Oh, bat, terrible packaging right off the bat. There's just no way this is going to seal. I hope the birds like these cookies because I'm probably not going to finish them. Well, I haven't even tried them yet. Let me not judge these. See, I, you're right. My friend Frank said I could be biased. I should do this blindfolded. But then we'd have a three, four hour video on our hands. Let's give it a twist test. Yeah, that's definitely definitely less cream than um, the Newman's. And looks like it's that shitty cream. I'm almost betting that these two are probably made in the same factory or, or it's funny with things like that. Like you can go online now and you'll buy a camera, like a, a knockoff cheap, like GoPro or something. And there's like a hundred different companies that make the same thing. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. Nothing, nothing really remarkable. I'd say they're a little bit better actually than the Kaleidos. Let's try them in milk. The cookie's a little softer, which you know, I like. Mmm, uh-oh, no. Milk worked better in the, with these and definitely better with those. All right, so we've got a nine. We've got a six. Man, these are really close. I'd say these are a little bit better. I'd say these are five. These are no good. 4.5, 4.5. It's an idea. It's an idea. The Bentons. These were tied with the Cloverfield, or Cl Cloverfield, the Clover Valleys, as the ones that I thought were going to be the bad ones. Now, this is the cheapest. Take a look at this. Look at all their information. This is, this has a flip. So this is the cheapest one. This was 85 cents for these. Uh, it's actually 14.3 ounces. I don't know if my information's right here or not. If so, I'll correct it, or I'll just let you know that this was 85 cents for 14.3 ounces. Okay, let's take a smell at them. I can't believe these, of all of them, have a flip, a uh, pull flap, and unfortunately the smell is no better than the first three. Well, the first one, Newman's was pretty good. These look very similar. Now, um, there's actually conspiracy theory, but take a look at this. That's the Knights of Templar, uh, one of the crosses, one of their symbols. This Oreo shit runs deep. Take a look at the Hydrox story. They didn't survive. Oreo took them out. All right. Uh, about as much cream as the last two, I would say. I'm not even going to compare it anymore at this point. And it's looking like, yeah, same cream. Thinner cookie, I would say. 
So this comes from, this is from Aldi. Mm, okay. Oh, wow. Mm, okay. Oh, wow. Mm, okay. Oh, wow. Right off the bat, I like the cookie a lot better. There's less cream than the Newman's, but I, than the Newman's? There's less cream than the new one? Wow. There's less cream than the Newman's. And I don't think I like the cream. Mm, 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 mm. I might be crazy. Yeah, that tasted fine. Let's try a milk. Still nothing to write home about, but the cookie is a lot um, crispier. Okay. Yeah, they're all right, milk. Didn't really improve the quality. However, we got some moving around to do here. These have definitely become my second favorite. They've got an original flavor. Like, these two tasted a lot alike. This one looked a lot like them, but tasted a lot better. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it's the cocoa. Maybe it's, I don't know what they're doing differently. But, all right, let's, um, let's cleanse the palate. I got a confession to make. I am working with a fucking killer headache right now. It has just been getting worse and worse <laughs> as I've been sitting here. But there's no time for stopping when we got more Oreo knockoffs to eat. Okay, this does not. Now, this is fucking Target. Target, like, is a bigger company, I would imagine, than, you know, uh, what was the one? Than Aldi. I would think that Target's bigger than Aldi. I would think that they would have a flap. But apparently Target doesn't give a fuck about you. So fuck you. No, I love Target. <laughs> it's something in the air there, man. It makes me want to spend. I just went to Target to get these for the first time in over a year. And I really won't go back anytime soon. There's too many people. On a Tuesday morning. Went early on a Tuesday morning thinking, oh, no one's going to be there. Fucking people. This sucks. This sucks. You suck. And you suck. The packaging. All right. As far as packaging goes, this is definitely number one. No. Number one, number two, number three. But I don't think that really matters when you're eating cookies. All right. Hang on. Hold the press. I know these all are going to have a very similar pattern. But this... Yeah, no, this is identical. There's no way. There's no way that these two cookies aren't the same fucking cookie. Now, I couldn't even tell you at this point. Now I'm going to have to put these aside. Let us try a market pantry. Um, and I can't remember whether they fell in the, the price range, but let's try a market pantry Target Oreo. So this is interesting. Let's try it milk first. Hang on. It tastes like the other cookie. Exactly like the last cookie. It's not a palate cleansing thing. It's the same fucking cookie. Yeah. Those two cookies, when the cream and the milk, or the cookie and the milk and the cream mixed, created some weird, slightly chemically flavor for just a second. It, it's not horrible, but it's there. Um, I mean, I'd have to give, I'd have to give it to. I mean, Benton's is still going to be number two because they have a lip flap. All right, Oreos. I don't even know why I had Oreos. I was going to compare them, eat one of those, eat an Oreo. But I don't think it makes sense. I know what a fucking Oreo tastes like. All right. Let's move on to the Twist and Shout. These are the Walmart Oreos. Um, they do a lot of variations, too. Some that Oreo does and doesn't do. There's no lift flat, bitches. The thing that's interesting about this one to me is the fact that it's, it, it, it's saying it's made with real cocoa. Are these other ones made with real cocoa? I have no fucking idea. Newman's probably. I'll look it up and I'll give you a comparison at some point. I just don't understand when companies like Aldi can afford to do this on their wrapping, why companies like Walmart aren't. I mean, maybe it's because that's how they've made their money and that's weird. All right, twist test. Uh, that cream was a little bit better, but look at how little cream is in that cookie. It's pathetic. Maybe that's why Walmart is such a monster. Like, they chintz on everything. You know, some of these actually... Let me go for this one. This one looks like it's got... Look at that. That's a reverse. You didn't think we were going to find a rare one today, did you now? Did ya? Did you now? Did you think we were going to find a crazy one? Um, Let's try the Walmart. Wow, look at that, how brittle that was. 
Oh, fucking brittle. Oh, shit. Brittle me timbers! Um, wow. Huh. I like the brittleness of the cookie a lot, but there's no flavor here. There's just, it's not, there's not a lot of flavor. It's like they use real cocoa, but only like, you know, like three grains of it. Let's try it in milk. This could be interesting because the cookie could react differently to the milk. Science, bitches. Hmm. Yeah. They're okay. A little bit better in milk, but not enough to save them from their fate. They're better than Kaleidos, I think. I don't know. That's a close one. Oh, I've been forgetting to score these fuckers. Sorry. So we got a nine. Um, I would say this is like a seven. Sorry about backtracking here. I am terrible at these sort of things. Uh, so we got a nine, a seven, maybe a six and a half, a six, um, a five, four and a half. And let's find out what we think about the Food Lion Cremos. No lift flap. It would be fun to like put these all in a jar and just reach in and try it. But I don't know how to ever fucking identify which one is which. I couldn't. I don't think I could. Oh, that's that's lovely. Oh, no. Oh, they're all broken as shit, too. I mean, I don't care about that. But it does factor in a little bit. Okay, this looks just like... Those other two, the um, Twist and Shout and the Benton. I can't, I, the Benton, the Twist, no, not the Twist. The Bentons and the Target Market Pantry look just like these. Let me show you. The one in the middle is the one I'm reviewing. Can you see those? You probably can't see those. See? The middle one is the one I'm reviewing. They're, they're the same. They're exactly the fucking same. Twist test. Same thing, same deal, guarantee it's going to taste the same. My teeth are hurting, this is so much sugar. So that would make these two the same score, or similar, close to. Nine, seven, six and a half, yeah, six, five, four and a half. Same fucking shit. Milk. Stop wasting my time, Food Lion. No, no, that, that's not right. That's not fair. I'm going to have to, yeah, no, the Kaleidos were definitely better than those. I know I said, just said, literally just, oh no, the Kaleidos are different. That's right. Okay. We're down to one. This is insane. I can't believe we've been able to get through these this quickly. Nothing has impressed me so far as much as the Newmans. I will say that. Now, the last challenger. I swear to God, I bet you these are the same cookies as the last three that we ate. Holy shit. That's a fucking mess. Who's gonna clean this shit up? You? 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 Same shitty packaging, same shitty cookie. If it wasn't for the fact that I was making this video for a purpose, I would just basically not do it. Oh, now wait a minute. That's yellow. <laughs> that is quite yellow. That is... Oh, that's a different cream... And it's yellow, but that cookie is the same fucking cookie. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You don't have to listen to me, but I'm telling you. Try it and melt. And lastly, I think it would only make sense if we try an Oreo, just to just to make sure and confirm that which we already know. Oh, God. I'll try to put this up so you can see that cross. See the cross right above the Oreo? That's what I was talking about earlier. There's a whole website dedicated to this conspiracy theory. Okay, that was shit. Fuck you, Oreo. <laughs> so many cookies. I can't eat any more cookies. Oh. Well, that's the way the cookie crumbles. I've been waiting to say that for seven years. No, I haven't. So I bet you're wondering, do any of these beat Oreo? Are any of them as good as Oreo? Wait, who's this? He's got a steel chair. He's going for the Oreo. Hydrox has made his move. 
we've got a new champion. I would vote Hydrox a champion if <laughs> Hydrox was here. Because Hydrox are good and I remember them. But that doesn't mean that I don't have a new favorite. Newman Zone. Newman Zone by far uh, was the best one. Everything tasted delicious in here. Everything tasted real and natural in here. Every single one of these other ones tastes like chemicals to a certain degree. Like, not chemicals. I just, I mean, more... Um, these, for some reason, have like a processed flavor to them. These tasted natural, but they also tasted close enough to Oreo that, like... It, if I had one choice, if somebody said, you got to eat Oreos tonight or you got to eat Newman's Own, I would go to the Newman's Own. They're a better flavor. They taste great. And um, I don't know how much of this is bullshit and how much of it's real, all the natural shit. But I can tell you with, with absolute certainty, this was my favorite out of all of these cookies. I have taken up so much of your time today. I apologize. Um, but I do hope you enjoyed this. This, is what, this was a long one. This was a, a long time coming. I had been wanting to make this video for a long time. And so if there are Oreos or knockoff Oreos in your part of the world that you want me to try and review here on the podcast, reach out to me. And if you guys are loving watching these as much as I'm loving making them, please consider liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing, and hit the little bell icon. It'll let you know every time I put a new video. It'll let you know every time I put out a new video. Don't forget to make somebody smile tomorrow and make yourself a better person tomorrow than you are today tomorrow. Let's make the world spin a little bit happier together. Let's sing and dance in the sun and the rain as one, my brothers and sisters. Live life to the fullest and love every moment of it because you just never know when that last moment's going to come for you. However, never live in fear of that moment. Always live in love and never let your inner child die. Take care of yourselves. Take care of one another and take care of those around you who can't take care of themselves for they are the ones that need it the most. I'm Jason Oliveira. This is the vodcast and I'll catch you guys a little bit further on down the road. Good night, you Billy Bumblers. Take care. <laughs>